Tampa International Airport is also drying out after the storm grounded flights during a tornado warning around lunchtime. The storms caused dozens of delays and cancellations across the state. There were more than 350 delays and 42 cancellations at TPA today. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell is there now. Miranda, the storm made for a long day for some travelers. Carolina, you won't believe how long some people have been waiting here after those storms. I know Colleen just mentioned that we were going to still be experiencing some of the wind out here, and we are seeing those gusts, but thankfully the storms have moved out of the way, although some travelers are still feeling the effects from that. We spoke to one pair of flyers who tells us that they flew in today through some of those storms, and they say because of the weather delays, gate changes, cancellations, and just general miscommunications with their airline, that they actually won't be flying out until tomorrow afternoon. Now with all that, they say that they and other passengers have kept high spirits out here at the airport and that everyone's kind of been taking this in stride. I was kind of scared on the airplane because I never flew while it was raining, so it was kind of new to me. People ain't really been, you know, mad about it for real, for real. People, I've been seeing a lot of people happy, seeing their family, seeing their family after a long time and whatnot. Now, we've already heard a couple of planes taken off out here since we've been out here tonight. That's a good sign. As far as tomorrow, we looked ahead on the flight board. The arrivals list still looking a little rough, but as far as the departures throughout the night and into tomorrow, right now looking a little bit better than they were today. So hopefully those passengers and all the other folks out here who experienced delays and cancellations can get to where they're trying to go tomorrow. In Tampa, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. Yeah, absolutely.